Welcome to Slips and Picks, arguably the greatest gambling show of all time. We got a big slate for you guys today. We got the Cowboys are at the Bills. Bills are hot. Cowboys are hot. What's going to happen there? Broncos, we're in like five of the last six going to the Lions. And all of a sudden, we don't know if the Lions, are they frauds? Are they not frauds? People are saying that. We're not, but people are saying that. They have dropped two of their last three. We got, we got parlays. We got overs and unders. Your boy, Chet Savage, is now swinging a giant stick trying to make up for these last few weeks going under 500. We're going to make it up for you. I am Chet Savage. This is Willie Gecko. That is Theodore Emil J- Jenkins. We have a hell of a show for you. Please stick around. This is Slips and Picks 500. Bussin' with the Boys presents Slips and Picks 500. Led by retired Diamond Level Network marketer, Chet Savage. Money Interpreter of the Year, runner-up, William Gecko. Theodore the Mule Jenkins, with diversity and failing college dropouts who get no hoes. The interns. You're watching the S&P 500. Not the stock market one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slips and Picks. I'm your host, Chet Savage. We have a great slate for you today buy or sell we're doing pump or dump the whole thing but before we get into all of that let's check in with these interns real quick on the on the weekend recap truly impressive how terrible some of the co-hosts are gambling and it's just showing week in week out uh let's just get right into the records we had chet at seven and nine the gecko though with a glimmer of hope with ten and six a profitable weekend nonetheless and the mule at six and eight so uh no addition to the enemy list Something I hope we don't see is Chet try to make a ton of picks to make up for his losses recently. Hopefully you don't do that. But with that being said, back to you guys. Heartbreak Hotel for your boy Chet Savage, seven and nine. Big opportunities yesterday. Big opportunities, I can't believe I'm saying this. Titans fucked me. Titans fucked me in a big way. And if you look back at <sighs> last week, what did I say? This is the game that the Titans are gonna win. And you even took the opportunity to say, hey, go with the Titans then. What'd yeah. I do? Yeah. I tucked my tail like a little bitch and I kept it walking. I kept it moving. Yeah, say that. And that's just the Did accountability we have to have. No. No, we okay, all went yeah, Dolphins. We all Listen, if they played the game again tomorrow or Thursday, I'm still taking the same pick. I'm still taking the same spread. <laughs> you still taking the under, though? <laughs> no, he's he go- I, I, oh, I, the I, under. Yeah, we oh. both took the under in that game. Oh, yeah, that's right. As the uh, interns just said, <laughs> Gecko. I was more pissed on a hot street. Tyreek Hill. That's my cup Tyreek under the table. Tyreek Hill, I had him in I a know, parlay. I know. Tyreek, he let me down. Yeah, that probably didn't hit. Talk to us about your last couple of weeks, brother. What's the? Give us a secret sauce. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was about 500, but the secret sauce, the back half of the year, like we've said before, uh, talking to the mule, because he has been in first the whole year. However, he's more of in first place. He's kind of like Jared Goff. He's played well the first half of the year. The back half, the question marks are starting to rise. But I will tell you, Art of War, this is the secret sauce. Attack the strategy. You have to attack the board. You can't let your mind be clouded by all the judgment and the external things going on. Yes, I'm competing with these fellow boys right here, but also we are competing against the board. And I just feel like I've had a hot hand. I feel like we've been patient. We've let the game come to us. And you see me rocking the hat this week. That's because last week I've completely flipped the script to go with the Cowboys since not only the Cowboys hit and Jake Ferguson, he gave luck as well. That was a massive hit for us in the uh, Bet the Boys parlay. I got to rock the fit until I go, until I lose. Mm, like Might it. not ever lose again. Maybe not. We'll, Maybe we'll not. see. This is a, this a, is a scary week. Left. Scary week. Scary week. Mule, started strong. We've talked about it every single week. You've been on a, uh, a pretty steep decline so far. Yeah, still in yeah. first place, as you pointed out. Still first. But what's the deal? Is this we your still, first losing week? Are we still yeah, this buying? is my first losing no, week. No, 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 this no, 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 first no. He's been 500 a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I've been. That's when he tailed you. That's when he went on that super hot streak for like four weeks in a row. I was always 500, though. When you tailed me. Yeah, you but because remember, y'all played me three bets. I never got my three bets in, so that put me below you guys. Remember that. What? The first week, I never got my three bets in, so that puts me, that put <laughs> oh, me below you guys. And then after that, I just start shooting up and taking first place. But let me be, let me say, you yeah. killed me with the Jerry Goff. Gave you that one. You got me. But at the end of the day, you started off weak in September, November. You getting strong a little bit. And uh, I, I mean, I didn't start off weak. I, I, like, I got below 50% one time, mm-hmm. one week. Other than that, we're above 50%. Like, look, boys, at the end of the day, we're betting like we have over 200 bets a piece on this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's tough to go 500. No, it's, 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 it's tough. It's tough. It's December ball. I got to get on my game again. 
I, I'm new to this December ball. I'm seeing the, I'm seeing the ups and downs. I'm seeing teams that are that were supposed to be great starting to play to the bad levels, and the teams that were sorry starting to play to the great levels. Look, I understand it's December ball. You got some teams that's older than other teams, some younger teams. They struggle when it gets to this late in the game. But I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna get this strategy going. We are gonna get back to them People units. People need the mule. We need San the Francisco, not Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, playoff, yeah, playoff. Oh, gritty, yeah, playoff, yeah, yeah, playoff, playoff ball, limited, yeah. Limited snaps on offense. Yeah, yeah. sift, black for, black for, I'm, uh, I'm, here, for I'm, here, I'm here for it. I'm here. No, I ain't blocking for Vernon. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about Frank Gore. <laughs> I, I was a decoy for Vernon. Uh, there you go. You, know, <laughs> the you, are, you are tight end rocking a 40s number. You're the decoy. Yeah, I was decoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight it's all up. good. It's all I knew, good. I knew my role. I knew my role and I knew my check. Yeah. And I knew my check, which got better at the Titans. It got, got better. better. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, baby. All right, yes, let's get the buy or sell segment first game. Obviously, uh, Cowboys have been on a big run. They're at the Bills. Bills are for, I can't, I can't tell you why. Bills are favored at minus two and a half. They are playing better ball, but the Cowboys have really ascended themselves into a top three team in the NFL. The points in that game is 49 and a half points. We're going to start with the hot hand. We're going to talk to the gecko. You can take as much time as you want, six minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, brother. Go ahead and take me from A to B on this one and let me know where you're going. I just need 10 seconds of your time. Okay. We alluded to it. Taylor said it in Bust with the Boys. This is the number two football team in the NFL right now, and they're playing like it. They beat Seattle. They've won a close game, and they also just beat the shit out of the Eagles. When you think the Eagles would bounce back after a loss, I don't know if it's at 10 seconds, but the answer, Cowboys. Cowboys, Cowboys. Take them with the money line. 17 seconds. Money you know, line. Money line. Just to be clear. Wait, you, you can't. are clear. We can take money. Bills line? are favored by a minus two and a half. So we doing money line now. In this I don't. Know, let me. Let me. Let me default to Steven. Okay, <laughs> That's, and you see what I'm saying? Take the points. Okay, Cowboys plus two and a half. It's crazy how this I'll shit works. Down. Down. No, 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 no. We can't have. Listen, it's a, it's not okay when the meal takes favored teams by multiple touchdowns and puts them at money line. It's okay if Gecko wants to go and take an, uh, a plus two and a half yeah, but and move it. All about the point. Okay, listen, all, this listen, show listen. is about making bets and knowing why you're making them. We're talking making about bets units and right now. checks. Right. So if you want to take money line, take the money line. Listen, for the sake of the segment, or was this camera yeah. on me, Garrett? Yeah, for the sake you. of the segment, Cowboys plus two and a half. However, Willie Gecko is going to be sprinkling, and by sprinkle, I mean handfuls on the money line. Yeah. You got to stop there watching Trump highlight videos. Your hands are getting out of He's coming back. Yeah, I'll, tell you, you're, I'll tell you what. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. So disrespect. Relax. Relax. All right, Neil, who are you taking on this one? This is a tough one, man. Like you said, the Bills has been playing better. They just got it. They just beat Kansas City. Had the boy out here talking like Kermit the Frog, yelling at the refs and everything. So, I mean, I get it. I understand. They haven't had nobody whoop on them like that, and the Bills is showing up. I know I talk bad about the Bill Mafia, but y'all doing y'all thing. But... You know uh, what I mean? But, but, dude, Dak has been doing his thing. C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, that defense over there in Dallas has been putting it down, man. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a tough game. I don't see how the Bills is up on this. They favored in this game. I'm going to have to go Cowboys plus two and a half. Uh, I'm also sprinkle that money line as well. You know what I'm saying? Get a little touch of that. Not for the segment, for I my clients. For my, for my clients. For my clients. Well, understand? dude, you also see what happened right here. Like, he Hell. saw something, he wanted to make a stab, like, hey, Will, that ain't how we do things around here. Got me corrected. <laughs> got me corrected. But then not only that, they took the strategy, the same exact strategy. Of course. They said, you know what, I'm going to get the money line with the cowboy. You need to, <laughs> do you have any data for us at all today? Not today. How many times have you seen What do you mean not today? Played? Because, look, man, that data shit right now is December football. I can go off that data shit and fall. People to the come underdog. to people come to stare at your nine-inch data. That's I get, all they're, they're, I they're here for. They want to marvel at one of the six wonders of the world. It happened to be yours nine-inch data. Fans only. Follow me there. You can see a lot <laughs> only, of nine-inch data. <laughs> what my fans only. I'm taking the Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys <laughs> plus two and a half. Cowboys have also scored more than thirty points in all of their last five games. Ooh, more that's than a great stat. Yeah, that is. Stat. Now. That is. I'm going to take the over as well. We're swinging Ooh. a big stick this week. Ooh. I am seeing, swinging a big stick this week. They say 
When you're in a situation of stress, don't panic, stay calm. I'm no longer staying calm. I am swinging the stick as hard as I can, and we're gonna boom or bust this week in week 15. We've gotta do something. Give can I second. just say this for Give all of us? Go ahead. I was just gonna say, the Bills are a tough team. Let's not let's just, not, let's just not sleep on them. Tough ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we are going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Josh Allen, friend of the show, yeah. great guy. Uh, Gabe Davis. <laughs> Stud. <laughs> Stud, we love you guys. But Cowboys right now are playing in a, an incredible way. Dak Prescott may very well be the MVP of this league. Here's the scary thing about the over. Bills haven't covered the over in the last five home games against the NFC. How's that for a stat? Yeah. Say that How's one that? again. The it Bills happened. have not covered their last five home games against NFC opponents. All that plays into this conversation yeah, right here, yeah, right? Does, you like yeah. that kind of? I mean, you, yeah, you like that. But because the Cowboys are on such a hot, uh, hot hand right now, hot yeah. streak, and they're scoring 30 or more points, I'm going to have to go with the over. Cowboys plus two and a half for me, plus the over. Steven, you got that? Appreciate you, Steven. Next game, Ravens favored at minus three and a half, and they are playing at Jacksonville with a hurt ankle Trevor Lawrence. Total points, 43 and a half. Gecko, guess what? This is gonna be a theme the whole day. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where how's life? How's your mother? Let's go. The Jaguars are bleeding. Trevor Lawrence is hurt. They're struggling a little bit on offense. They lost to who was it? The Bengals? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Browns? Bengals? Bengals. Sorry, I get them kind of confused. It's okay. But I like Jacksonville this week. I like Ooh. Jacksonville. The reason, look, I, to me, the Ravens got away with one against the Rams. They won in overtime, right? Walk-off return touchdown. Insane. On special team, shout out yeah. fourth down. But they stole one out there at home. The Ravens in the past, you look at them in 2001, you look at them in 2002, they're teams that the majority of their losses, in 2021, they lost their last six. In 2022, three of their seven losses came in December, in December football. It's a team that usually gets figured out, and that's why I think the line is where it's at. Uh, I like I like Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville plus really? two and a half against the Ravens in December football. Again, oh, and also, shout out Puka Nakua. Yeah. <sighs> Beast. Bare hand, no condom catch. No, oh yes. Yeah. You oh, see the catch, porn. G? Here's Do it again. G. Just show the, the finger the tip. Thing. Steps up, floats one. The fingertip tape. God. Old school. I'm telling you, bro. bro. we sat with that That was kid. insane. We yeah, sat with him at UFC uh, International Fight Week. And he, I know. Was, he was like, yeah, I just got drafted by the Rams. I was like, dude, congrats. Like, good luck with your career. Super unassuming cat. Very humble. Well, no one knew he was nice, take off. Nice, positive energy. Po yeah, yeah. Like, they didn't you, know he was like, going to oh. take off, though. No one knew he was going to take no, off No, yeah, like he's a fourth-round pick. Yeah, no one would have known that. I bet, hey, we need you on busting with the boys this year. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I said, if we would have known that, we'd have been like, hey, we need you on busting with yeah, the boys right this now, year. Yeah, right now, right now. They pulled it tonight. No, I mean, you can still get him. He's He's happy to do it. We'll get him. Not the show. Not the same Not the same show. Not the same show. Mio, where are you going? Subscribe to busting with the boys. Yeah, please do that, actually. I mean, I liked what you said about the Jaguars, but they, again, I, I get it. It's December football, and they struggling right now. Just, I mean, with their quarterback being hurt, oh, man, I, I can't. I just got to go Ravens. I think Lamar Jackson and them boys going to get it done. Uh, I know the game was tough last week. That over, They won it in overtime, but, hey, at the end of the day, the Ravens, they look like they're going to be the strongest team right now in mm -hmm. the AFC. So, uh, one with them. Ravens, man. Strongest team in the AFC. I'm going to take the Ravens as well. Listen, I, 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 Trevor Lawrence's ankle does concern me. It makes me a little bit nervous, but what concerns me more than Trevor Lawrence is the Jacksonville Jaguars defense against Cleveland, against old man Joe Flacco last week. Hey, Joe now, hey. Got, Joe got, was slinging it. I think it was five touchdowns, had 250 yards in the first half. Oh, he went nutty. Very, it was a very impressive game. It was one of those things that make you want to dust off the old cleats a little bit, huh, Mule? Yeah. You want to dust them off a little bit watching oh, Joe yeah. Flacco play. I mean, if he can do it, I can do it. You think so? Yeah, definitely. I don't know if I concur with that. Uh, but I'm going to take the Ravens here. I think it's a safer move. Uh, what scares me about them going to Jacksonville, we all know about the weather. I will take the over as well. Let me give you one stat because we're swinging a big stick this week. That's the theme. Seven of the last eight games in December for Jacksonville has been the over. And for that reason, I will be taking the over and I will be taking the Ravens as well. Wow. Right? They're really putting some, some picks together. That's, those are some big... Yeah. I appreciate you noticing. Thank you. I, uh, I, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, because you realize, are all these separate picks or are these two picks. leg parlays? <laughs> he going to say separate. Separate you know picks. <laughs> They're separate picks. Yeah, we can't get risky on them parlays. <laughs> you know. Fun fact about Joe Flacco, he won most attractive back in 2015, mm -hmm. I believe. Is, uh, people uh, are also saying it was the ugliest year in America. So I was number seven on that list. Were you? That list My point exactly. Jackie, Jackie, he'll dig in the he'll Jack, he'll dig in the research. What magazine? What hey, you magazine don't have to do that, Jack. 
The oh, magazine was this. The fucking Nashville I think it was just scoop. an article. Boomer no. Sooner. What the was Nashville that? What was the scoop. media? Nashville Scoop. <laughs> Nashville Lifestyle. Um, we have two more games, boys. Let's, let's dial this in. We're 13 minutes in the A block, so let's keep it going here for a second. Broncos are at the Lions. Lions are minus five and a half. People are, people are swirling, saying the Lions are frauds. How can you be frauds with an ankle biter like Dan Campbell? I have no idea, but they're two, they dropped two of their last three. Uh, points in that game, 46 and a half points. Gecko. I got uh, the Broncos winning the AFC West. I got them on the heels of the Chiefs, sneaking them here in the end. If they're going to do that, then they're going to have to beat the Lions. Yes, call out for the Lions. They need to win this game in a bad way to have some kind of mojo going into the playoffs. But I love the Broncos here with the points. I love the spot they're sitting in. Backs in against a, the wall. Let's go take the West. It's in a dome. You, t- you said earlier, Jared Goff okay. might, be a, might be a bad weather, bad quarterback. Well, you know who else grew up in a dome? Sean Payton. Nice. Mule. Hmm. Mm. Didn't write anything down. Nothing on the sheet oh, here. Oh, we'll we'll yeah, no, I was, uh, I, was think, yeah. I was thinking about this one. The Lions has been letting me down the last few weeks, man. I've been having them dudes riding with Jared. He didn't get <clears throat> my parlay, player parlay. So with that being said, and I fucking hate Russell Wilson. But at the end <laughs> of the day, I'm going to go Broncos, man. I just feel like the Broncos is up right now. They figured it out. December football, they're playing strong. Russell Wilson kissing babies and shit and scoring touchdowns. So let's just ride with it for right now. Ride high, <laughs> Denver. Mm. Let's ride with it for right Bring now. Bring the Danger Witch back. I'm going to go the Broncos as well. 46 and a half points. Taking the over. Why? Jared Goff, when he's in a dome, throws the ball a whole lot better. Gets points on the board. Russell Wilson, for whatever reason, he's back through his Seattle days. Points will be had. I see this game hitting the over, 46 and a half. You don't have to see it with me. I hope to God everybody fades me. I hope they do. But I'm taking Broncos plus five, and I'm taking the over on 46 and a half. Last game in this segment is going to be Jets at the Dolphins. Dolphins were favored at 12. And then the boys in the two-tone blue went down to Miami and spanked that little ass, didn't they? Two didn't see that happening. Little knee ski for Tyreek Hill. Which, by the way, we did have that parlay. I owe you some money. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. No Jeffrey Simmons. Derrick Henry had a whole lot of touches. Will Levis, 300 yards. That's not the game we're talking about. We're talking about Jets at Dolphins. Dolphins are favored minus nine and a half. Total points, 40 and a half. Gecko, go after Mule. Dolphins. Got it, why? Uh, They playing the Jets. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's I mean, the reason. You, yeah, they played great last week. Jets played some the ball Jets last week. The Jets defense is good, okay? I give you that. But the Milf hunter. It's, well, is Tyreek going to play? Is Tyreek going to play, though? Huh? I'm sure he's on the injury report, but yeah. he came back in the game. Yeah, he did. He so, came back in the game, but right. I mean, I, he got a sh- yeah. I think he got that shot. He was it's got to be game. concerning that your production drops that much, much as a football team. With a when one, one, one player, player drop comes out, I know. So yeah, well, Jets. Fuck what? <laughs> Jets. All right, cool. Gecko, where you at? Do you want to touch the points at all? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins. Dolphins minus nine and a half. I'm still believing the Dolphins. Look, I, they have every reason for people to call them frauds and pig with lipstick, all that kind of stuff. But I'm still right them. I think there's something. There's something sparkling up that just hasn't manifested itself yet. Dolphins. Good ball club. Just didn't do well against the Titans. I'm going to go to the Dolphins as well at uh, minus nine and a half. And guess what? Taking the over. I think Tools going to have a big comeback. You'll see that later in our parlay segment. So you got eight picks. On the I got eight so. picks in the he first one. We're swinging a big in. stick, boys. Have you not figured out the theme yet? Is he scared? He's the trying to yes. catch I'm, up, I'm terrified right now, and I need to figure it out in a hurry. This week 15 will be a historic up. week he said over for Chet Savage. I said over. He said over. He said took over, over on everything. everything. I made the, I made the he took yeah, over on everything. everything. Over at all of them. He, all right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to hit... Our parlay segment, Bet the Boys Index Parlay, followed by ETFFs. All right, we'll be right back after these messages. Just keep striking out. Another holiday season. No hoes. No hoes? What do we need to do? At this point, we might as well give up. Here, here, here. Just take it. I'm the ghost of Christmas Riz, here to get you bitches. How do we do that? Watch this. Oh. These sweaters are awesome. How do y'all feel? I feel rizzier than ever. Let's see if, well, I feel rizzier than ever. Say, where'd you get these? You can find us at store.barstoolsports.com slash bussing with the boys. That's awesome. Hey, let's go talk to some girls. Yeah. 
Welcome back to Slips and Picks. We are now hitting our Bet the Boys Index Parlay. Now, if you're joining us for the first time, if your friend called you and said, hey, you got to watch this gambling show. There's two guys doing great on there, and there's a handsome host. you got to go watch that show. You're in the right spot. Now, with the parlays, what's going to happen here is if you bet these parlays and it hits, you're making money. And then you go on Twitter, you screenshot your bet slip, you tag at Bussin, WTB, you are now entered in a chance to win $300. Last week, no winner. That's all right. More for us this week. Actually, the exact same. So let's get right into it. Gecko, where are you going with on your Bet the Boys Index Parlay? Brees Hall, over four and a half receptions. Uh, he had eight last week against the Texans. Zach Wilson, he came back in. You know, you, you can tell he's dialed in, ready to go. They put up, what, 30 points against the Texans? Yes. Yeah, that was 30 shocking. points. Shut the Texans shocking. down. Shut so it down. tells me a couple things because last week, clearly one of us did our uh, homework. Uh, Taylor ran with, the, or Chet ran with CMC anytime touchdown because it's just, you know, it's right there. Uh, Mule over here went Jared Goff because Gecko tipped him off about Jared Goff early in the year. But. I like the data that's coming alive with Brees Hall. When you look at Zach Wilson and coming back into this game and him wanting to make a statement and play well, when he, he got the ball to Garrett Wilson nine times, but who was second? Brees Hall with eight receptions. He's going to look at his reads. He's going to go one, two, and then boom, check down. Brees Hall, he gets busy with it. He gets busy with the pill. Brees Hall over four and a half receptions. That's a lock. I mean, God damn, do you know they playing against some good corners over there, though? Oh, well, do our corners covering Brees Hall? No. They're going to lock They're gonna lock down. White linebackers. White no. linebackers. Yes. They're going to bring that safety down on them. Yeah, but all you guys do is still dish the ball. Like, right. it's check called check downs, downs man. All right. Because Zach three, Wilson's three, trying three to prove, yeah. Three Zach, Zach hey, how many check downs to... did he have last week? He had eight receptions. Oh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Thank you. what do you got? Justin. Justin Fields over 32 and a half total passes, uh, passing attempts. Last games he won, 33, 37, 32. I feel like this is a good game for him to have over them passing attempts against the Bear, uh, Bron I mean, uh, um, the Browns. So this is, uh, I'm going Justin Fields, man. I think he's going to get this one done. I love that. Uh, do you love that, Gecko? You feel good with it? I don't know. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. um, <laughs> I'm going to go to uh, Tonga Vailoa over one Last and a half touchdowns. Last three games he tough, averaged tough. over 33. Uh, uh. I'm going to go to uh, Tonga Vailoa over one and a half touchdowns. It's a good pick. Thank you. It's I feel good, good about that one. It's going to happen. It's going to be good for both mine and Gecko's pick because if the Dolphins do get up the way we see them winning by over nine and a half points, that means they'll be in two minute with the Jets, allowing for more checkdowns. That is a great partnership when it comes to parlays. Didn't like the way you presented the parlay, but... It is what it is. We're going to move on to our ETFF Easy Team Favorite Fun. Uh, Gecko, we're going to start with you. Easy Team Favorite Fun, brother. Whenever Falcons you money line. They're favorite against the Panthers. Falcons dropped one last week, and it's bullshit. Already, it's bullshit. You've got to choke out the NFC South, brother. But you get the Panthers this week. You're only favored by three. We're going to go ahead and take that money line because they're going to take care of business against the Panthers. Fucking win the NFC South. I know. And win the NFC South, Art. Mule. 49ers, best fucking team in the NFL right now. Probably going to win the Super Bowl. I'm cheering for them. If they do, I will be wearing my 49er red and gold, faithful. So I'm going 49ers money line, baby. Get this shit done for your boy. Do you claim the 49ers or do you claim the Titans? I claim the 49ers. Hey, can I just... As well as the Tennessee Titans. If you had to pick one, though. That's just not fair. Why? Why? You play for two teams. I think it's pretty Evenly. Easy. Will, of the 17 Evenly. teams you played for, who would you pick? You pick? You no, you have to pick one. <laughs> no. Okay, so yeah. you say it is fair, and then I'll Yeah, decide. he goes, say, oh, that's not, yeah, it's Where fair. are you going, Redskins, Raiders, Titans? I, I got favorite, like favorites, you know what I mean? Who's your favorites? <laughs> Who's your number one favorite? I think you kill the other two teams for this team. Damn. If they were all? Same. All on a lineup, and you got to pick one. And it's like, who's that comedian that goes, pick A, B, or C, and the girl's like, why? He's like, just pick one. And it's, B, and he shoots the guy in the stomach. <laughs> if they were all in the conference championship. All, th yep, three teams, one game. Three teams, so Washington wins to go to the Super Bowl. Okay. And then AFC championship, um, Raiders. Titans, Raiders. Raiders. You're taking the Raiders over the Titans. Raiders. And then in the, uh, in the Super Bowl, I'm taking Washington over the Raiders. Wow. That's fair. That's fair. Wow. I spent the most amount of time there. Wore the yeah. C. Yeah. Yeah, see, I yeah, was yeah. even, 7-7, seven, seven, so it's, they both the same to me. Scared what are you talking about? 7-7. Seven, seven. seven years, years each? Yeah, but how much success did you have at 
I was I was known because of 49ers from the special this from the well, special team. That's what huh? I'm saying. You went to the Who's Super your head Bowl. coach? I know. What do you Who's mean? your head coach? When? Well, yeah, yeah, I had a head a lot of head coaches. Who's your favorite? Who's the best head coach? Who's your favorite? Uh, Jim Harbaugh definitely was my favorite. But who is your favorite? Head coach? Jim Harbaugh. Over Tom Sula? Tom Sula was only a coach for half the year. Yeah, he was but... my favorite intern coach. <laughs> Let's say that he's the favorite intern. Intern, <laughs> intern coach. Not quite a coach yet, still in college. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. But, bro, you should claim the Titans. I do claim the three Titans. Pro Bowls. I claim uh, the yeah, Titans. We're the only receiver. Guys, yeah, yeah, but if you had to pick one, oh, you, you should you should absolutely take the Titans. If it, I, it, well, if it goes, I'm gonna go off. It's a year. It's a year pick. I'm gonna pick the 49ers this year because they win. <laughs> so yeah, you're going front, 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 like, favorite. Hey, that's, why, that's why he's great in September. I'm just like a fan. And by the way, Justin, just Fields, like Justin Fields is only th uh, thrown for over 33. What is it? 32 and, for, and a half. 32 and a half twice on the season. Yeah, he gonna not do the last this. three games. It was. It was no. the last two games, just, buddy. Yeah, get it right. Yeah. He was hurt the last few of them. Now he back doing uh, his gonna, thing. <laughs> Let's get it right. Uh, uh, where are we on? The ETFFs? I'm going to take the Chiefs. <laughs> They're playing the Pats. Um, it's a good pick. Yeah, Pats haven't <laughs> covered eight of their last nine in Gillette Stadium. And uh, the, the Chiefs have won 12 of their last 14 against <laughs> AFC opponents. What's up? What if the Pats sneak the Chiefs? I'm telling you, they've been coming back. Chiefs, December Chiefs are bleeding a little bit? Sorry. <laughs> the Chiefs, the Chiefs are bleeding a little bit. Mm -hmm. And... The Pats just won, although against the Steelers, but they won a primetime game in yeah. a fashion that yeah. they at least had some excitement and momentum in December to be like, hey, let's put a game together. Let's yeah. shut down the Chiefs. They yeah. playing old buddy. I hear you. Now, can I tell you something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zappy out to there. Real good. Zappy yeah. doing his thing. Right where this curve is, there's a lot of bleeding going on over here. All right? We're taking on water, and that's not the kind of negativity I need when I make the I was I just the bringing payments. it. I was just bringing it to them. I know. And, and <laughs> if it happens, we can, it'll be fun to revisit, and you, once again, can wear that hat. <laughs> and have fun. So, all right. That'd we are going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're doing our pump or dump segment that involves overs and unders. We'll be back right after these messages. Guys, I'm out of ideas. What are we doing for merch this week? Bro, uh, I don't know. Dude, I actually have no idea. Man, I wish there was just like a way we could get inside of the consumer's head. Whiskey and cigars on a polo. Yeah, just a way to like plant the seed inside their head. Dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. Imagine if we could like hypnotize the customer. Buy our merch. Buy our merch. Buy our merch. Buy, 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 buy. All right, let's get to the show. Pump or dump segment. That was fun. Um, all right, pump or dump segment for those of you joining us for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna give these boys a game. I'm gonna give them who's favored. I'm gonna give them the totals, and then they're gonna tell me to pump it, taking the over, or dump it, taking the under. We're gonna start with Gecko. This one's coming in hot at you. We got the Vikings. They're playing at Cincinnati against the Bengals. Bengals are favored at minus three and a half. The total points is 38 and a half points. Are Dump. You? Got it. Mm. Pump, fuck it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna pump this one as well. Hell yeah. I'm gonna pump this one as well. I think a lot of people are gonna look at the Vikings Raiders last week and they're gonna say, oh, only they, yeah. you know, not yeah. a whole lot going on. They're gonna get GBOT. And uh, who's the quarterback for the Bengals playing so well right now? What's Jake Brown. Jake, Jake Brown. Yeah. Kind of slinging it out there. Yeah, I, 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 and I do. I think the Bengals take care of business. Yeah. Um, but also, I think they play good defense to do so. Perfect. Swing big stick, taking the Bengals. Minus three and a half, and I'm also taking the over. Do what? Wait, Justin. I'm Jeff? taking the Bengals. Minus three and a half. Hey, and I'm gonna take the line. over in that game too. Did that a Next line? game. You're really going off script. Last week you took the Broncos plus three and you took you under did. over. I can't remember. You did do that. I like the Broncos in the game as far as spread numbers go. I will not put that in. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and put that in. Off script. He getting you Somebody's back. gotta get off script to get back on track. You like that? You like that? Did you like that? Let's, we can go to the next pick. Buccaneers at Packers. Packers are favored minus three and a half. Total points, 42 and a half points. Gecko. Mm. Under. Dump. Dump. 
The Packers bounce back. I don't think the Bucks can move the ball a whole lot. Mm. Um, under. Nice. Mule. Dump. Dump. Fuck it. I got to dump this as well. I think you yeah, just, I like all your fuck it picks this yeah, week. It's just kind of weird, but... You just show up. You didn't look up anything this week, did you? you man, this is December ball. I can look up... It's You never know what's going to happen Throw in out December. the data. The data I, is shitty right now, buddy. I'll, I need those nine inches. <laughs> Every uh, the, the data would have been telling me to pick the favorites, and the favorites is getting smacked right. right now. Got it. I'm dumping this game. I'm taking the Packers as well that are favored at minus three and a half. Last game. This man trying to get on the pumper dump segment. I'm taking. Uh, Sorry. Whoa. Bears at Browns. Bears are uh, Browns are favored minus three and a half. Total points thirty seven and a half. Gecko. Dump. Mule. Pump. I'm going to pump this one as well. I'm going to take the Bears plus three and a half. <clears throat> Steven, you got that? Don't forget, I was three and oh in this category. You get what I'm saying? Do not forget that. All right, we're going to go to an underdog segment. Underdogs, dogs, dogs. Uh, we're going to pick uh, teams that are underdogs, and we're going to take them. So we're going to start with you, Gecko. Who do you got? Go ahead. You can get in with mine if you want. Mm. DeVito. DeVito. The DeVito. Mm. The DeVitos, the family, the agent that's out there. I'm going Giants money line over the Saints. I think when you look at who the Saints have beat, it's been the Panthers a couple times. It was Titans early in the year. It was they beat a uh, they lost to a bad Packers team at the time. The Giants just beat a better Packers team later in the year. And through all that, I'm going Giants. Those hands. Money line. You think he, do you think his agent is his cousin? Because he seems super fucking Italian, he too. He does. Yeah. He loves it. That's an agent oh, he, that sees an opportunity. He love it. Oh, he was on yeah, the sideline with the phone. And yeah. That's talking. how legends get made. Doing shit he's doing right now. I don't right think now. no one's going to sign with that guy, but at the end of the day... I mean, <laughs> Would you sign with him? No. Why not? Why are you on the sideline if talking he came, to me? If he, came up, to tell if he like, started bro, walking up to you... I'm going full Italian. Full Italian. If he started walking up to you in a three-piece suit with a chain going from his coat down to his pocket and he was flipping a quarter in his hand, he gonna rip you're me walking off. away with him. He's going to take you. No, he ripping you off. He's going to take you to an Italian restaurant. <laughs> you're going to be mixed up in something you don't want to be mixed yeah. up with. Yeah, your finances won't be in order, but yeah. you're going to be signed. Yeah, you're going to be signed. Yeah, you're going to be signed. They'll never cut you either because no. he's got something on that team. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going Bears money line, man. Plus 150 if they take that. <clears throat> Let's get it. Play the Cowboys money line. They're the hottest team in the league right now. They're hot. And so they... hot right now. Dude. I'm taking Cowboys money line. Boys, when we come back, we're going to talk Monday night football. You, you there. Did you know that it's Friday, right? Eh? With superior selections of Whistle Picks quality whiskey that was created deep in the hills of Shore, Vermont, there's a little something for everyone to kick off your weekend of football. Wife yelling at you about the chores? Ha <laughs> ha, not anymore. It's Friday, right? Eh? Friends mad that you won't come to their wedding in the middle of football season? <laughs> Shut up. It's impossible to be mad when you have a bottle of Whistle Pig whiskey in your hand. Choose between their award-winning six-year piggyback rye, their 10-year rye, or even their Bustin' with the Boys bourbon that'll have you wanting to celebrate every day of the week. You can buy it all at WhistlePigWhiskey.com or shop at the nearest Whistle Pig retailer. For the pig, Whistle Pig. All right, let's go back to it. Let's get into... Monday night football. We got the Eagles mm. favored at three and a half, Stephen. Three and a half. Okay, because it says thirty-five on my sheet. That's obviously not the case. Eagles are favored at three and a half. They're at Seattle. Points in that game is forty-seven and a half points. Gecko, we're going to start with you. Eagles get back on track. I like that. Eagles get back on track. That's a smart I think move. it's tough. They're bleeding a little bit, but I think the Philly Christmas gets going. Uh, yeah, I think that's a play. Eagles minus three and a half at Seattle. Mm -hmm. Meal, that's uh, a top pick. you're going to take the Eagles as well. So I'll go. <laughs> I'm going to take the Eagles also. And I'm going to take the over in that game. I'm going to take the under, though, on that game. Bad luck. Very first pick of this show was a triple-A pick with the Cowboys. We haven't, we didn't call it out. We have another triple-A one. Let's hope the gambling gods play in our favor. But I am scared that we did not. Give the bills that. enough. Flowers. I was gonna say it, but well, just we didn't off. call out the triple A yeah. pick. Like we're not, we weren't rocking. I know. I feel like our triple A's didn't hit very well last week. They haven't. Week. They haven't. It's all right. They have not been hit. Gotta keep believing. Keep believing. 
Uh, I believe that's it, right, guys? We're done? Is, oh, is there only one of the Monday Night Football games? Only one Monday Night Football game. I mean, you know that Just last, a quick little blip in the middle of December. It was four teams, except yeah. the Dolphins, that was struggling. They had to show another game just yeah. in case. It was, it was a bad one. You know? Yeah. If they would have, times would have got blown out, they needed that other game to, to justify yeah. that. Did your mic fall? Oh, he got me. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> We want to thank you. We want to thank you for uh, coming oh, and watching you know, and Picks. We also want to thank you for subscribing and rating five stars. And we'd like to thank you again for leaving so many comments that YouTube algorithm doesn't even know what to do with it. We are going to leave you here, but stay tuned for Penny Slips coming up right after this. Thank you so much. Boom. We are back with the penny slips, parlays, another week back on this camera, back on this channel, back with you guys showing love in the comments to us right now. Don't ask me what happened last week. This week, we're cooking. We feel good. Christmas is around the corner, and we are about to be dishing out some nice gifts with this money we are about to make. Should we start with our individual parlays? Let's do it. I can go first. Go ahead. I will go Sam Laporta over whatever his receptions are. We don't have these lines yet, but two games on the road recently for the Lions. We know how they are outside, but they're back indoors this Sunday, and I think Laporta goes big this Sunday. Next, we're taking Tua over one and a half touchdowns. All the offense does is score. They took a tough loss to the Titans this past week, but they still put up 27 points. I always feel good about Tua tossing that thing to the end zone. Lastly, Mr. Italiano, Tommy DeVito, shout out Nikki the Good. We're going over Tommy DeVito rush yards. He went nuclear this past week in primetime, and there's no sign, especially around Christmas, I don't know why the Italians would stop going. So that is mine. I have no idea what the odds are, but I do know it will bring you a lot of money. I will be going spread, spreads only. First, starting with the Indianapolis Colts at minus two and a half versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Second, I will be taking the Chicago Bears plus three and a half versus the Cleveland Browns. And finally, I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons versus the detrimental Carolina Panthers, minus three. Um, parlay though, it's gonna be plus 584. Now moving on to our team bet. Starting with the Green Bay Packers, minus three and a half versus the Tampa, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Go ahead, Jippy. Yeah, I, I do love that. Jordan Love is rocking. And it's Christmas. Every movie that comes out around Christmas is a, is a love movie, a romance movie. So there's no reason to go against Jordan Love. The second leg of the parlay is the Cincinnati Bengals, minus three and a half. If the Bengals the past couple weeks have been free money. I don't know when they're going to start realizing Jake Browning is the guy, but until they do, we will be riding them in the last leg. And the last leg, which uh, hopefully pays out to where we have a really juicy Monday night because we're taking the Philadelphia Eagles to get back on track versus the Seahawks at minus four. Um, Eagles have definitely been stumbling around, but I think this is the week they get back on track. You parlay those together, you're going to get plus 608. I really think the team bet's got a big one this week. So, uh, yeah, feel the love, feel the Christmas spirit, and empty your pockets into this. And now, to our undefeated. Oh, not yet. Just kidding. Oh. I'm going to parlay the whole board. My apologies. Even though, even though December is the scariest time to parlay the whole board, because as we've seen in the last few weeks, it's been underdog central. Um, but I'm hoping this week it turns around. So, But we still got a couple of underdogs sprinkled in there. So we're going to start out Raiders money line, Bengals money line, Colts money line, Lions money line, Chiefs money line, Dolphins money line, Giants money line, Bears money line, Falcons money line, Packers money line, Titans money line, 49ers money line, Rams money line, Bills money line, Ravens money line, and finish it off with the Philadelphia Eagles money line. Parlay those together, and you're going to get plus 189,568 odds. That's $10 to win 18 grand. Again, get all of your Christmas shopping done with this one parlay. You can just give people cash at this point. That's really all they want. So, parlay the whole board. Hopefully, this is the week. Without further ado, we're going to go into our 
always undefeated segment. The Rock'em Sock'em Pick'em Parlay of the Week. JP, you can set it up. The Rock'em Sock'em Pick'em Parlay of the Week is the Bills, Bills versus the Cowboys. Which, that's about as pick them as you can get. Two teams that look like they're starting to peak. But this segment is undefeated except for four times. So we look to stay undefeated. Yes. Um, I guess we'll go Bills, uh, Giants, Cowboys. Bills versus the Cowboys. Good luck. Good luck out there. Without a doubt, our greatest battle so far this year. Um, this game might go into quadruple overtime. And that's what I'm feeling too. And I really do like the Bills in this game. But like we say, the data doesn't lie. We're undefeated except for four weeks. So go ahead and pile it all on the Cowboys, I guess. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that wraps it up. What, second to last episode before Christmas. Drop your Christmas wish list in the comments. And maybe Chet and Will will uh, buy you something on your list. Yeah, I, I think they will, honestly. Cue the outro music. La, 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 la.